Texas and definitely been an interesting year for the rookie, Mitchell Robinson. He's actually known for being very quiet and before we did our interview, I was told he doesn't really do interviews because of that. But the truth is, this is a man with a lot of personality. He just prefers not to show it on camera. He's 20 years old. He didn't even play basketball until he was in eighth grade. That's when he went from being 6'2 to 7 feet tall. Tonight, we're going one on one with Mitchell Robinson. 10 minutes. I'm busy, big fella. Tell them, they're telling us we only have 10 minutes. Tell them that, you, that you're busy. Hey, I'm busy, big fella. Yeah, we're busy over here. Yeah, we're, we're busy. And Mitchell Robinson has been busy leaving his impact on New York. You walk in here and you're like, locker room's closed. <laughs> I think people don't know you're actually one of the funniest guys on the team. Uh, I think it's DJ, honestly. D no, DJ DJ says up. it's you. Yeah, yeah, DJ is definitely first. Yeah? yeah. No, I'm not. Oh, that's cute. You guys are going back. No, you're funnier. No, you're funnier. I mean, he really got hot waters on right now, but I mean, <laughs> um, yeah, it's really DJ though. Yes, DJ, as in DeAndre Jordan, as in the man who decided he needed a little camera time during my interview with Frank Nalikina. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely, I feel. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just got a cameo right there. But more with Frank and DJ at another time. Mitchell, tonight is about you. You made an interesting decision. You decided, you know, instead of the one and done rule, instead of going to college, you decided, forget it. I'm going to take a little time and, and, and work out on my own. Why did you make that decision? Um, to prevent um, injuries, you know, to um, focus on my game a little bit. And, you know, I was late starting playing basketball, so kind of used that as a speed up a little bit. He didn't always know that basketball would be his future, despite his height. So here's the thing, you're seven foot one. So even if someone is not a Knicks fan, even if someone's not a basketball fan, your whole life, you've stood out. That's gotta be an interesting way to grow up. Well, I mean, it don't really bother me much. Like, yeah, sometimes I do want to be left alone a little bit, you know, just to enjoy myself. But at the same time, it don't really bother me. I think uh, as, as, a, as a Nick, has it sort of now, do you enjoy being a star in New York? A um, little bit. Do you? Yeah. What's yeah. the best perk? What's the best perk that comes with being a New York Nick? Um, really just playing ball, you know, playing ball for a great city, um, getting out there and working. Although it has been a tough season to say the least, and I feel like that weighs on you guys. What is Coach Fizdale telling you guys right now in order to sort of keep the optimism alive? Um, he always tells us like we're gonna keep chopping at a tree. Um, what is that? Chopping at a tree. Chopping like at a tree, something yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, he tells us to continue to fight. You know, you know, not to give up. So, I mean. And we soak that in, and then, you know, we go to practice every day, and we work hard at what we do, um, and we did bring the fight. I like it. I really enjoyed getting to know Mitch.